<laughs> I'm here with Kathy with the Cayuga Lake Scenic Byway, and you know hundreds of places to go on hundreds. this lake. Um, the Cayuga Lake Scenic Byway is a 90 mile long loop that surrounds Cayuga Lake. And here you can explore, hike, swim at all the various different state parks, especially here at Taganic Falls State Park, which is the tallest falls um, east of the Mississippi. But uh, the important thing is to get on the lake, you know, mm -hmm. to boat, fish, kayak, paddleboard. Um, it, it's the best. I mean, there's so much you can see and do here on, on the scenic byway. There's wineries, um, breweries, distilleries. Um, great grows, restaurants to dine. It grows every year. It grows so every been, year. If you've been here, you have to come back because there's more every single go, year. It's that's amazing. Right. And it's, it's great because, you know, it's a great place to stay. You know, you can stay a day, a few days, a whole week. Uh, we have such beautiful inns, hotels. Campgrounds. And campgrounds. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you can rent a house or a cottage on the lake. I mean, it's 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 amazing. It's beautiful. The scenery is gorgeous. As you travel along the byway, um, you can see the osprey nests and visit the Montezuma National Wildlife Refuge, uh, the Cuga Nature Center, or the Science Center in Ithaca, uh, a popular places to bring the family. And um, you can check out our website at uh, cugalake.com to plan your itinerary because you can visit by boat, car, mm -hmm. motorcycle, bicycle. Uh, visit us and enjoy the ride. I'm here with Alex in Heaven, also known as the Aurora Inn. Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot to be on a summer afternoon like this, for it sure. It certainly is. Now tell me a little bit about the history. There is a lot of history here, so how much time do you have? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, So we're the Inns of Aurora. We're a collection of four historic properties um, in properties. We have 44 guest rooms between the four. And our buildings were built between 1833 and 1909 and have all been restored in the last 10 years. Wow. Um, so the inn where we are here now, our flagship property, was built in 1833 as a stop on the Wells Fargo stagecoach and has always been an inn since its opening. Wow. Um, so there's cool. a lot of history um, here in the village. And real dedication to, to this property by the owner. Yes. Um, our owner and founder, Pleasant Roland, um, graduated from Wells College here in the village. She went on to be a teacher, and while she was teaching, she really felt like she needed more tools to help connect the girls in her class to the um, lessons in history. Mm -hmm. And so she started American Girl uh, that became incredibly popular with the dolls and the books and all of that. And after she sold the company, she came back to Aurora to restore the village and give back to the, the town that she felt made her who she uh, became. I love to hear about New Yorkers that are coming back. Definitely. And, yeah, make a difference. That's yes. terrific. Yeah. And what a difference she's making. This is just beautiful. Yeah, she's um, she's invested a lot and our, our team is really um, passionate about the project here. So we're at Roland House and you're telling me it has 10 rooms mm -hmm. and you can rent the whole house for your group. It's a really fabulous option. So two of our properties, Roland House here and E.B. Morgan House, another one of our inns, um, which has seven rooms, you can have the entire place to yourself. And this is a really popular option for executive retreats, but also family reunions, mm -hmm. especially during the holidays. We decorate the houses for oh, Christmas. Oh, I bet that's and wonderful. And so all you have to do is come with your presents and mm -hmm. put them under the tree, and everything else is already taken <laughs> oh, care of. terrific. <laughs> <laughs> and you said the chefs will come down and Absolutely. prepare a dinner party for you. Absolutely. And, and this is a little more modern. Yes, so yeah. each of our inns has a totally different, unique aesthetic to it. Um, and it really goes back to our interior design focus. So the Aurora Inn has a very classic American federal feel. Roland House is a little more eclectic. We have mm -hmm. pieces from China, pieces from Japan, really modern art, um, yes. all inside of this historic estate. Wonderful. The artwork is superb in, in all of the buildings. It's really fascinating. It's one of our highlights for sure. Um, the other really fun thing about Roland House that I love is the top floor, which has four guest rooms, and it's all decked out in Mackenzie Childs. Ooh, so we fun. have a whole courtly check room, we have a dot and decal <laughs> room, and that's a popular floor to rent out as like a mm -hmm. girlfriend getaway. Um, oh, what a great spot. idea. Yeah, it's oh, really you're giving fun. me all these ideas. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'll be back. Come down. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, it's terrific. Yeah. I'm here with Kit at Bet the Farm Winery, which is just exquisite. Well, thank you, thank you. Well, this is our little tasting room for our winery. We're a very small winery uh, in the Finger Lakes, uh, about 900, 950 cases. My wife started this 10 years ago. And uh, the reason it started was that uh, she had the opportunity to open a shop here. And she thought wine and food would be the best thing to put in this area. 
air in this shop, so she learned how to make wine. She, uh, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. That's a can-do attitude. That's I right. like that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she found, a, I was already in the wine business, and I found a winemaker that was willing to teach her how to make wine, and uh, she had some skills as a uh, scientist, and so she was able to help them out at the winery, and mm -hmm. they helped her learn how to make wine. And as you can see from the She's medals, done a great job, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. So Naima, the way we do our tastings here is uh, we like to emphasize the food and wine flight, as I was saying. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very particular about this, and we really think about what we're going to be doing. So we will be going around the horn here. I'll put some uh, cashews out and when we get to that wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first cheese is called okay. First Light. Uh, Creamery Moonlight, and it's a goat's milk cheese, and we pair this with our Cayuga White, and this is unlike a lot of Cayuga Whites in the Finger Lakes. Mm -hmm. We've finished it off frizzante seco, so mm. it's fizzy and dry. It's been one of our, uh, talking about a happy accident, we made this last year, and it's like, wow, people love it. So This is great together, just right? wonderful together. Now the next is uh, light from the same oh. uh, creamery, uh -oh. which is out in uh, well, west of uh, Rochester, and this is a Chev. It's a very, it's it's got a nice little tang to it, but uh, it's ultra creamy, and we put it with our Pinot Gris. Mm. Oh, I love Pinot Gris. And this is a it's a very subtle and uh, soft Pinot Gris. Oh. That's divine. Well, thank That's you. That's very good. Now, the piece de resistance. Yes. This is our Brut Gamay, and our second vintage of Brut Gamay. And this is the only Brut Gamay made in the United States, and one of two in North America. So explain that. Because that means it's not in America, but it's on the continent. Yes, it yeah. is on the continent. Yes, <laughs> it's out in Brit the other one's out in British Columbia. So if you're in the eastern United States, you're not going to find it. <laughs> if you've been tasting a lot, you might not get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, part of this is a geography quiz. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yes. Oh. And Nancy loves her oh, bubbles, so that's... Very lively. That's wonderful and so subtle. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very nice. Hi, I am here with Jennifer at Paddle & More where you can have a whole lot of fun. This is just really cool stuff. Tell us a little bit about all the things that they can rent and learn. Um, so here at Paddle and More, we can, people can rent kayaks, canoes, and stand up paddle boards. We do lessons, we do guided trips, we even do kid camp, kids camps. Oh, and what is kid camp? What do you do for that? For our kids camps, we do what's called a wind and waves camp. And what's great about the Wind and Waves Camp is we do paddle boarding, kayak, canoeing, but we also get them on windsurfing, um, get them out windsurfing and uh, sailing. Oh wow! And yeah. so, how long does that run? Is that a? It's a, all summer long. Oh. We have sessions from uh, the beginning of summer right to the end. Wonderful. So now, if I'm a complete novice, you would be able to teach me how to kayak yes. and have a good day and yes. then not get get all wet and. <laughs> and whatever, but you teach me to be safe, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So at Paddle and More, we have American Canoe Association certified instructors. Um, we really are all about safety. We want to get people on the water to learn to have fun, but mm -hmm. biggest, the biggest thing we want them to learn is all about how to do it safely. Mm -hmm. um, and so we teach them all the necessary strokes, all the necessary maneuvers and all the necessary um, safety requirements mm -hmm. and rescues that they need to learn when they're out on the water. Either. And that way you can really enjoy the beauty of the Finger Lakes yes. because you're calm, you know what you're doing, right. you're in great equipment, right. you're in a safe environment, and then you can really have fun, yes, right? Yes, exactly. It's Any age can really learn how to do this, right? It's not just, yes. I see you have little, little people and yep, then you have big yep. people. So for our rentals, as long as they're on a board or mm -hmm. on a kayak with a parent, they're mm -hmm. allowed out on the water as long as they're wearing a properly fitted PFD or Mm -hmm. a, a life vest um, and yeah right up until you know any age and people just, as long, young at heart right young at heart <laughs> young at heart all right so here's your adventure at paddle and more 
Hi, I'm here at the Cayuga Lake Creamery, a great place to stop when you're on the wine trail. You can get sandwiches and homemade ice cream, right? Correct. And um, as far as homemade ice cream, we were rated the best ice cream in New York State by uh, USA Today as um, wow. back in 2010. And a lot of interesting flavors, I see. Yeah, All we have of... flavors. We just did a festival. We did asparagus ice cream, which was oh, wow. one of our, <laughs> you know, different ones. But mm -hmm. it was asparagus festival. We do maple bacon. One of our oh, biggest yeah. sellers is Seneca Salt Caramel, where we actually use salt from a mine under Seneca Lake. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, and you're open late, so people can also get dinner. Right? That's correct. We're right. open this time of year from 11 in the morning to 9 at night, and within a few weeks, we'll stay open till 10 at night. And you have fabulous coffee. I see yep. that, because you got to keep awake so that That's you can do right. all the things right. that are uh, we, available here. We get our coffee from Finger Lakes Coffee Roasters. Mm -hmm. So, wow. So you can have your dessert first. Of then course. you can have your sandwich, then you can have your coffee, and then you can have another dessert, right? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. So what's yeah. your, your biggest seller? You said it was the Seneca Lake? The Seneca Salt Caramel is our second bi biggest seller after uh -huh. vanilla, which is Everybody hard, loves it's vanilla. hard to get right. that one displaced, although mm -hmm. we did displace uh, chocolate, which is always the second mm -hmm. top flavor in most places. Well, you come highly recommended from several places that we've already been on the trail, so it's a must stop. Marcia, thank you so much for inviting us to Buttonwood Grove Winery. You have a fantastic view here. Thank you. We like to think that it's our little slice of heaven up here on the hill. Well, it certainly mm -hmm. is. And the name is interesting, too. Tell me a little bit about the winery itself and the history. So, um, buttonwood trees are actually a name for another name for the sycamore tree that grows naturally out here in the woods. It's a native plant. Uh, mm -hmm. They're the trees with the kind of um, that camouflage looking bark and our original owner who uh, started the winery in 2004 was a landscaper. Um, so he had a lot of botanical themes going on with the winery when he first started it. So he and his wife, Ken and Diane Reamer, started the winery in 2004 mm -hmm. and then they sold it in 2014 when they were ready to retire to Dave and Melissa Pittard, um, a younger couple that have um, gone in a whole um, sort of a, a different direction with this. Um, we have a lot of live music going on. We have a lot of weddings, uh, a lot of expansion in the vineyards, lots of new grapes going on, going in every year. Yeah. Uh, some new wines, some exciting wines. This is yes. a, a white Cab Franc. If you've never seen a white Cabernet mm -hmm. Franc, this is the place to find one. We've got uh, so a lot of different wines uh, that have been coming out since they took over. Um, the cabins are, are one of our most popular features. We have four cabins, so a lot going on here all the time. It sounds it. Yes, yes. It sounds it, and I'll look forward to tasting some of these wines. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I understand you have some very unique wines here. We do, we have quite a nice wine list actually. Um, quite a few dry wines and also some sweeter ones. What do you usually drink? I'm more of a dry person. Okay. But I'll, you okay. Don't try any. Um, so our signature wines here tend to be our Rieslings and our Cab Francs, and we have several of each of those actually. Um, but one of the most unique to us is a barrel fermented and aged Riesling, which is nice. not typical. Riesling is typically fermented and aged in stainless steel. This is called Francis Amelia Riesling, and it was aged for six months in neutral oak. So it's much rounder mouthfeel than a typical Riesling. It is named wonderful. for our owner's uh, little girl, Frances Amelia. It was released right before her first birthday last year. And we'll be bottling the next vintage of that uh, this week coming up. I can see why that's one of your signature wines. Yeah, and it's actually Very one nice. of my favorites Very as nice. well. Very and then nice. we have also a traditional Cafranc, more traditional, 0% residual sugar. Uh, this is an estate grown and produced wine from the Reamer Block Vineyard. It was aged in French oak for about 15 months. So nice berry flavors. Yeah, yes. you can smell the oak in it. Yeah, absolutely. Nice berry flavors right in the middle. 
Uh, you get a bit of a peppery finish, which is pretty characteristic of Finger Lakes Cab Franc. That is very nice. I know. I'm in love oh, with the cat. Yes. Yep. It just picked up its first medal uh, of the season. We just started entering it into competition. Got a medal at the Indy International. Uh, so that Wonderful. was kind of exciting and fun for us. So what else would you like to try? Anything? Well, I'll actually try to take some home with me. How's that sound? Okay. That sounds great. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate it.